Wilson Jones, welcome to Coffee and CEOs. I think a big part of leadership is disarming a lot of that anxiety in an organization. We, we need to be a forgiving group and, and again, enjoy what we do. This year you guys are celebrating 100 years. You have a really rich history and yeah. it's changed a lot over 100 years. Yeah. And I know, I know that's very important to you. I feel like I'm the, one of the luckiest people in the world to be able to, to be here and, and be part of the 100th celebration. Not many people could say they're part of a company that with a 100 years of rich history. Yeah. And when we talk about making a difference in people's lives, that didn't just start the last few years. It goes all the way back to about 100 years ago today. Um, our founders had a great two great products that they patented, a transfer case and a front wheel drive axle. And their goal was to make a difference in people's lives, allowing them to go places that they couldn't, probably couldn't go, no paved roads. We've got over 50 rejection letters that these gentlemen received from Ford, Packard, Studebaker. People didn't want to use those components. And, uh, mm -hmm. and thankfully, that Perseverance DNA started right there. In, uh, in May of 1917, they started Wisconsin Duplex Auto, and we've been building trucks ever since. Again, it's a perseverance DNA with that purpose of making a difference in people's lives. Started in 1917, and, and we're really going to celebrate it this year in, in, in Oshkosh. Things have changed since, since you got there. So how long have you been there? Uh, since 2005. 2005. So you, you encountered uh, one type of company, and you guys have gone through quite a transformation in the, in the last 12 years. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you found and, and, and what you started doing about it? Sure. You know, the... First, I would say we, we had a good culture, yeah. but we've really uh, adopted this, what I would call DNA of continuous improvement. Yeah. And, and that, that, that equates to continuous improvement in every area, including your culture. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have one of the best places to work, to attract and retain yeah. that top talent. So we first started with, with leadership and, and understanding you have to have genuine caring leadership if we're gonna have a people first culture. And so we started with, with some basic leadership behaviors that we felt like the leadership team should, should model. Mm -hmm. and, and as a group, we came up with those, and, and it's trust and respect, it's be collaborative, gain alignment, and fourth, and I think what my team would tell you is the most important, is have fun. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to model today, Pat, is we build a culture and then listen to our team members on what, what is the culture that they want. We, we're understanding the current state of our culture, but what do they want the future state of that culture to be? Obviously, uh, you guys are delivering some sort of great customer experience or you wouldn't have had the growth that, that you've been having. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the, uh, what customers can expect from Oshkosh? Sure. We have a, a great team in Oshkosh. I think that's one thing that, that we've been blessed with and, and people that really relate to our purpose of making a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's not a slogan in our company. That's something that our team not only understands, but they believe. And so when you, when you see a, an issue with a customer, I think you, the feedback you would hear from our customers is uh, our teams are all, are all over those issues. If it's mm -hmm. a negative issue, they're, they're on it. If it's a positive issue, they're supporting it. Our, our teams, from a customer experience standpoint, and, and I know you're, you're big in this lane of customer experience, they, they try to become customer, what I would call sustaining resources mm -hmm. to our customers. Right. A good example is one of our big customers for JLG, our access equipment, big rental customer. They're, they're wanting to get more involved in the area of sustainability. Mm -hmm. We're a green master recognized by the state of Wisconsin for our sustainability efforts. So we're, we're benchmarking with them on sustainability. Sure. We do the same thing with our global and ethics program. We do it with our safety management system. Didn't, didn't you get world's most ethical company? Yes, we did. Two, two years in a row. Yeah, yeah we just Congratulations received that. that. Yeah, thanks. That's again a credit to our team and how they're connected. You mentioned earlier working across 70 countries around the world and all the foreign corrupt practices are going on um, without that good connected people strategy. You don't, um, you know, only 124 companies in the world uh, receive that designation. So we're, we're very honored and again, a credit to our team. Yeah, fantastic. So you and I have just talked a, a couple times on the phone and then earlier about our model for mm -hmm. delivering customer experience and how important it is to integrate not only the external messaging that you're saying out to your customers, but the internal messaging to get your people understanding their role in delivering mm -hmm. that. So many organizations tend to silo those. Mm -hmm. You guys seem to be doing a good job of integrating those together. How do you, how do you go about integrating that? Well, it's, um, you're exactly right, Pat. How many times have we heard people in different companies go, I don't know what our strategy is. Mm -hmm. We do not want that in our company. And so we go through that, that framework that I mentioned earlier, starting with, with what they're focused on, what they're responsible and accountable to, and how it fits into all levels, mm -hmm. you know, starting with the top 
as far as our strategic objectives, getting into the specific strategies and the elements of the, the people, purpose, and performance. It, it just aligns, and, and again, our goal is if someone's not seeing the strategy, we pull our strategic framework, one page, simple form mm -hmm. out, and help them walk through that. And, and our experience has been once you do that, maybe you have to do it a second time, they get it and, and it's connected and we're hearing less and less of that, well, I'm not sure what our strategy is or how I, how I equate or, or relate to it. Sure. But you have, to, you have to take the time. You know, when, when you say trust and respect, collaborate, gain alignment, well, if you're not having all those conversations throughout the whole organization, you're going to have a, a little bit of a dysfunction when people understand what, well, and, what their role is. And your customer's going to see it eventually too. Exactly, exactly.